Hello everyone, my name is CountBlock2009, and I'm doing quite fine. Welcome to another spotlight of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time through, we finished up Stone Tower, wow. And in this spotlight, we're going to be doing just a couple of side quests before we, yeah, 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 I know. Before we actually had, we do one major one, we do the final major one, and then we're basically done with the game. Um, this video will probably be sped up a little at certain points. Just because we're going to need to do some... It's just going to take us a lot easier. Yeah, I don't know why I'm just putting on the bunny hood. We're going to be going back to Milk Road in a minute. Well, in a couple minutes. You'll see what I mean. We'll probably be doing that first before I speed up the video to do one last other thing. Because this three-day cycle we're going to be doing, probably this three-day cycle will take... Okay, get, get ready. Get. Oh my gosh, I almost missed. I thought he was going to get me there. Let's see how long it takes me to kill him with the light arrows. The light of justice. Obviously, it's not very strong if it's still keeping him alive. I thought it was supposed to prevent... It was supposed to shine light on evil, like thieves. All it's doing is just making him glow. Okay, I think that killed him. Yep. There we go. Um, what you're going to want to do is, the reason why we're killing him is because we need the money and I don't want to have to withdraw rubies from the bank because I still need to, I'm still like, what, a thousand? I'm still, yeah, about a thousand rubies off from what I need to have in order to finish this, obviously. But don't worry, we'll be doing that. But what we're going to do right now, uh, tears, because rock working that I want to, maybe I'll get finished. Um, we're gonna need to be back at Clock Town by midnight in order to prevent... Remember that thief that robs the old lady? We're gonna need to be back in Clock Town by, um, midnight on the first night so we can stop him, because that's what we're gonna be doing. But, anyway, we need to buy a powder keg, obviously, because we want to do milk. I said yes. I did not say no. Okay, maybe I did, but I didn't mean to. And could just warp to Milk Road, but considering how long it takes that Alice song to play, what's weird is I used to think you could skip that. Like, I remember I could skip it before, but apparently you can't. Like, you guys know what I mean. Like, that animation scene where Link like, gets wrapped in, like, that egg, and then he goes. But what's weird is I used to think you could skip that. Don't know. Okay, so let's get here. Don't worry about these bushes. They're going to become important. If you're wondering... Like, those bushes that just randomly, like, leave. There's three of them in Cla You know, there's one in Clock Town's north area. There's one in, um... What is it? Right here on Milk Road. And then there's one in the northern mountains tab when spring comes. Well, we'll be... That will become important a little bit later. But, really, we're gonna only have three more, like... Cycles before the final boss. But... Well, before we get to the final area... But anyway, what you're going to want to do is we're going to head into this place because we haven't come here yet, into this room. And this is Doggy Racetrack. Now, if you talk to her as Darmani, she'll be like, What do you want? This is M Mama Yuzian's Doggy Racetrack, just like the sign says. And best, and bet, you try? Oh, well, actually, I don't think this is right for you. The doggy see a face like yours, I think they'll all roll over and play dead. <laughs> and they'll all, like, be afraid of you if you're Darmani. So instead, oh, oh, uh, wait, 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 this isn't what we wanted. Ah, no, 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 <laughs> uh, da, 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 I hit the shield. <laughs> How could such little doggies be so evil? <laughs> okay, let's just put this on so they'll just think we're normal. No. Oh, yeah, we gotta talk to her as Link. I forgot. But you're gonna want to get the Mask of Truth, and I'll explain why in a minute. Talk to her, she'll be like... Huh, what do you want? Uh, nice track, minimum bet, yep. And go. First, fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Now, basically, remember how the Mask of Truth allowed us to talk to that one? What you want to do is pick up a dog with the Mask of Truth, and it'll be like, who whine? I'm tired. I, I'm going to take the day off tomorrow. Can dogs do that? Basically, if the dog goes like that, you want to pick him. This one 
So I gotta remember that one. But this black one. Aw. That's my personal favorite. Yep. That's my personal favorite run. Um, right here are 20 rubies in these pots, so... Well, 5 rubies each, so you get a total of 20. So if you do run out of money, you can do it. But yeah, that black one, it's because I have a little Cocker Spaniel at my house. This is my pet. Shadow. Aw. I miss her. I miss not being able to see her every day. But you pick the dog and she'll be like, if that's the dog you brought, it takes... If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. And if the dog you've chosen third through fifth, you'll break even and get it back however much you bet. If your dog does any worse that, you lose whatever you bet. You can bet up to 90 rubies. So I would bet... Eh. Around... You're going to need a hundred... You need to win at least 150, so... Yeah, we'll do 90. Why not? We'll put us at 89, so we can always just go get those rubies, so we'll be okay. And this is so cool how they all run. Now, the ones that go rough are, though, usually the best. As you can see, the black one, he always does well, then he starts to struggle. And then once, he actually did win, but he's always, like, one of the worst. Which is sad, because I think he should be the best. But usually it's these, um... Yellow, yellow to white ones are usually the best. So see, we got one of the best. Come on, come on! Oh my gosh, am I gonna do this on the first try? Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh uh, I'm gonna win, dude! No, 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 no! Yes, yes! Yeah! Please tell me I got second. Oh, the little black one, so slow. Please tell me. Sweet Arthur, you took second. That's amazing. You win double the amount. You bet 880 rubies. Nice going, you won over 150 years, so I guess I have to give you a bonus prize too. She'll give us a piece of heart. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to play. I just want to go get that money. But yeah, so if you get first, we would have gotten 270. Oh man, that would have been great. That would have, like, I wouldn't have had to go kill that dumb bird again. But, well, let's see what he says this time. And I feel like I could lose too. I want to take this one with me. Come on, Shadow, you're coming home with me. I wonder if she'll say anything. No, we, oh, we can't take him. All right, little guy. But, all right. Now that we've done that, we got that piece of fire. I thought that would take a lot longer. It's already noon in this game, and now I run out of magic power. Um, no, I'm not gonna help these cows. I could, I should, but I'm not. Um, so what we're going to do now is basically because what we're going to have to do for this part is you're going to see we need to remember those Deku scrubs that, you know, sell you stuff or they're like, you know, they're all in the four main areas and then there's the one in Clock Town you gave the Moon's Tier at the beginning of the game and then he gave you that title deed. Well, now that we've opened all the areas of this game, like where all of, of them are, like, I'll go talk to him. Let's see what he says. He'll be like... Wait, wait, hang on! And I have to watch his annoying long cutscene. Ugh. But he'll be like... This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around, bub. Yeah, I know, he doesn't actually say bub, but I just wanted to say that. And, okay, we'll just switch to Link. Talk to him, and he'll be like... Sir, sir... I keep hearing about a stone called the Moon's Tear, and it's supposed to be the shiniest, shiniest stone in the world. Do you think you have one? If you have one, I'll trade you this spot, and I'll throw in the Deku Flower, too. This is a very popular spot among Deku Scrubs. Haven't you heard about this spot? I'm telling you, it's a real bargain. No, I don't have one. If you have a Moon's Tear, please tell me. I want one as a souvenir for my wife. Now, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to speed up a little here, and we're going to go get a Moon's Tear... And then we'll be going to all four of the other ones. And I'll show, like, I'll edit in, you know, like, where, what you have to be. Because you have to be, for each of them, you have to be a different character. Like, for example, remember the one in the Southern Swamp? He's like, um, you know, what is it? You can, um, and, uh, crap, I don't remember. Five, one, two, three, four. I don't know why. Darn it. I'm gonna... And I have to look what my what it was. Three, four, five, two, one. Wow, I was so wrong. Three, four, five, two, one. But basically, yeah, you need to talk to like the one in the southern swamp. Two was it two one? Okay. 
<laughs> I thought I was going to be wrong again. But remember that one in the Southern Swamp, how if you talk to him as Dinkalink, he'd give you magic beans? Well, the same sort of thing applies here. So what I'm going to do is cut ahead, and but if you talk to him as, well, yeah, anyway. If you talk to the one in the Southern Swamp as Link, he'll trade you that Deku flower for his, for that title deed. And then he'll go to the one in Clocktown and so on. So basically, all we have to do is just simply switch them. I'll show you, I'll edit in, you know, which character you have to be. So, with that, it's music time. piece of heart and we can finally get on with our lives. Come on, Link. It's almost night here. And there we go, another piece of heart. And you know what? Let's see what this gossip stone has to say. This goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fierce darting mask. A mask contains some hurts of all masks seems to be somewhere in this world. Okay. One other funny thing is if you bomb one of these, you get to watch this. Hey! That thing's not coming back, is it? <laughs> if you bomb it, it just takes off. It's really funny. Um, yeah, now that Sakan, he's now going to be ready to go rob that old lady. So... We're going to go stop him. So, I'll cut ahead to when we stop him. Okay, now that it is night time, talk to the lady, she'll be like, I'm sorry, like she was last time. Yeah, she'll just be like, I'm sorry. And then... The old lady again and again is gonna get mugged by this clown. And like, oh, George, I was sassy. Give the old lady her luggage bag. Yeah, you're dead already. Now, what's funny is if you take an arrow, I think I'll show this in a bonus scene later, even an extras video, but if you shoot him with an arrow, he will explode. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Oh, wait! Oh, 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 crap, oh, crap, that, 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 might have just ruined everything. Uh, let's just pray it didn't. Well, the only way we'll know 
is if we head to the ranch, or not to the ranch. No, we don't want to play that. No, 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 no. Ah, crap. I think I just screwed it up. If you go to the curiosity shop on day three at the final, there will be a mask there. Now, since I did technically stop him, but... Oh, man! Fine. But anyway, I guess since I won't be able to show it, or maybe I will in the next spotlight, basically, on the final day, there is what you call mask called the All Night Mask. You get it if you go and finish this. Basically, what I mean is, for 500 rubies, you can buy it, but you have to stop Sakan from robbing the old lady. So, you know, I guess we'll go back in time. We'll save. We'll save. And I will see you guys when I get it. Okay. Oh, okay, now that I finally got all of this to happen again, this time I'm just going to make sure. I'm not going to try to run him out of town. I'm just going to attack him right away. And I'm not going to do anything else. Nothing else. Don't want to have to do this again. Yeah, whatever, lady. You got robbed again. He's dead. Alright, fine. I'll shoot an arrow at him. I'll penetrate his heart of evil. Okay, so much for that. Goes right through him. Alright, fine. He can flee. <laughs> I shot the soldier more than him there. Alright, there we go. Thank you. Since he didn't make up in them, I can really stop falling back to the shop. Maybe I'll put him out tomorrow. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. <clears throat> what up? Okay. Now... Let's cut ahead to the final day at the Curiosity Shop, alright? Okay, now that it's finally 10 o'clock in this game, it took forever, finally we can go in and talk to him. Talk to him as Darmani, it's really funny. He'll be like, Eesh, you frightened me. I keep special hours for folks like you. Try coming back at half past never. <laughs> talk to him as Link, because apparently he wants to talk to a kid. You gotta look around, I'm doing a special sale, check it out. Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask for use at bedtime. I forgot when this was made, but it sure is a freaky mask, see? When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? Check the bargain, yep. We'll buy it, 500 rubies, and we'll get the all-night mask! Apparently this mask won't let you drift off to sleep, even if you want to wear it with C. You bought a weird mask, this was added, you know, like somehow. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell, I kid you not. Can I buy something? No, you can't. Thanks. Take care, buddy. Okay. Now that we have done that, finally, this is the end of the video, okay? This is going to take me forever to edit, but oh well. This is the end of this spotlight. I will see you guys next time.